I just wanted to say a couple of things about the concept of abiogenesis. Um, evolution doesn't really address the origins of life, uh, but I did want to just address the question from a philosophical angle. Uh, if we were to want to desire to find out what is the origin of life, uh, what is the path that is going to lead us to some kind of answers. Now, uh, probably anybody that's uh, had a high school chemistry class or biology class knows the human body is composed of a lot of chemicals. Uh, oxygen, 65 percent. Carbon, 18 percent. Hydrogen, 10%, nitrogen, 3%. And then there's trace elements like calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, and sodium, chlorine, magnesium, iodine, iron. We are composed of chemicals and molecules, uh, things that we might think of as non-living matter. We feed on stuff that is made up of this stuff. The environment that we live in is completely made up of this stuff. Now we suspect there was a time when there wasn't life, when there was only all this chemical stuff. So um, if we wanted to find out what was the origin of life, would it be better for us to investigate whether uh, complex chemicals could start replicating themselves uh, just by the laws of chemistry? Or would it we find better answers if we just say, well, you know, we don't know the answer, but we think that maybe hocus pocus one day life just got pulled magically out of a hat. I don't know what kind of answers people expect and what kind of uh, usefulness those kinds of magical answers are going to bring for them. I'm kind of betting on science in this race. Uh, to provide useful answers to the kinds of questions um, that are going to make life for us better. That's all.